Many, many years ago, people pictured that the future would be all about flying vehicles. There's something impressive and spectacular about flying vehicles, and now, they are here. Drones are becoming a big thing these days, so it would not come as a surprise anymore when we see more people using flying vehicles for leisure or travel. If you haven't seen anyone yet in a flying vehicle, this video is perfect for you. This is a compilation of some of the famous flying adventures that prove that flying across the globe is possible. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the notification button to watch more videos like this. One of the most famous individuals who successfully used a jetpack to roam the sky is Eve Rossi. He recently took flight alongside several Alpha jet fighters while using his Jetman jetpack. Before this, he made headlines by soaring around the Burj Khalifa, Dubai's tallest skyscraper, and alongside a massive Airbus A320 plane. Rossi documented all of these daring feats on video. The Swiss inventor began developing the Jetman rocket pack back in 2004. One of its key design features is the absence of a mechanical wing. Instead, control of the jetpack relies solely on the pilot's movements of their arms, legs, and head, capable of reaching speeds up to 300 kilometers per hour. The rocket pack offers a maximum flight time of 10 minutes with a full tank of fuel. To initiate flight, Rossi typically launches from an airplane or helicopter, and for landing, he relies on a parachute. His aerial escapades continue to capture the imagination of many. An unforgettable scene happened during a military parade in France on July 14, 2019. A remarkable flying platform known as the Flyboard Air was seen by thousands of people. This innovative device can reach speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour and ascend to heights of 3 kilometers. It can sustain continuous flight for 30 minutes and is designed to transport both a person and cargo with a combined weight limit of up to 200 kilograms. However, during the public demonstration, certain limitations were imposed on flyboard air. The maximum speed was restricted to 140 kilometers per hour. The maximum altitude was set at 150 meters, and the flight duration was limited to six minutes. Additionally, the payload capacity during the demonstration was capped at 100 kilograms. Nonetheless, the flyboard air's potential for versatile and dynamic aerial capabilities was evident even within these constraints. Frankie Zapata personally managed the flying machine in action. He glided over the Champs-Élysées on a turbine-powered hoverboard. During the demonstration, Zapata held a rifle, hinting at potential military applications of the technology. However, the version of the flying platform that the public saw still requires refinement, especially in terms of stability and maneuverability. Another mind-blowing flying vehicle is a Russian startup called Hoversurf. They unveiled an electric hoverbike known as the Scorpion. This innovative vehicle falls into the category of ultralight vehicles, meaning it can be operated without requiring a pilot's license. The Scorpion is a free-flying motorcycle with a carbon fiber frame, weighing in at a mere 114 kilograms. It features a new 12 kilowatt hour hybrid battery, offering between 10 to 25 minutes of flight time depending on factors such as weather conditions and the weight of the pilot. Additionally, it can be operated remotely with up to 40 minutes of flight time in unmanned mode. Its compact dimensions allow it to fit through a standard doorway and take off and land from a regular parking space. Capable of flying up to 16 meters above the ground and reaching a maximum speed of 96 kilometers per hour, the Scorpion's speed may be subject to legal limitations in different countries. Enthusiasts interested in owning a Scorpion can pre-order one with a $10,000 deposit, with the full price set at $150,000. This cutting-edge hoverbike represents a bold step forward in personal aerial transportation technology. In 2015, Alexandru Duru introduced his Omni hoverboard to the world, garnering significant attention, including an entry in the Guinness Book of World Records. Duru flew an impressive 276 meters over a lake at a height of 5 meters. Because of this, Duru was more inspired to work diligently on developing a much better flying machine that people could purchase. He has already secured patents for the Omni Hoverboard. Currently, the battery charge of the Omni Hoverboard allows for a modest one and a half minutes of flight time. However, Duru is actively working on enhancements to extend the duration of the flight, aiming to improve the overall performance and usability of his remarkable invention. An American company, Jetpack Aviation, has also created its latest version of Jetpack called JB-11. This is an impressive upgrade from its earlier version. The JB-11 can reach impressive speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour. The company unveiled the prototype of this advanced Jetpack at CES 2018, 
marking a departure from the typical trend where jetpacks are often created by enthusiasts in single copies. In recent years, however, some companies, including Jetpack Aviation, have announced plans for serial production, showcasing the growing interest and potential in this field. The JB-11 boasts six turbojet engines and can easily attain a maximum flight height of about four and a half kilometers, with a flight duration of 12 minutes on a single refueling. During this time, the pilot can cover a distance of more than 30 kilometers. Dubai's civil defense has already announced plans to purchase these jetpacks for use in emergencies, particularly in cases of fires in high-rise buildings, where traditional access might be a problem. The concept of a jetpack was once deemed absurd and ambitious before, but now anyone can buy it. Take a look at Martin Jetpack. It was initially seen at an air show in Dubai a few years ago. It boasts to reach speeds of up to 75 kilometers per hour and lift a person nearly a kilometer into the air. The manufacturer asserts that it could potentially become the world's safest aircraft. Remarkably, the jetpack operates on conventional fuel, allowing it to cover a maximum distance of 50 kilometers on a single refueling. In the event of running out of fuel mid-air, a safety feature comes into play. An automatically triggered ballast balloon ensures a safe descent to the ground for the pilot. With an estimated cost of around $250,000, the Martin Jetpack is anticipated to see its initial adoption by emergency services, followed by agricultural workers and representatives of the oil and gas industry. Only after this phased introduction will jetpacks become more widely available to the general public. Now, if you want to experience being a superhero, you may take a look at Gravity Industries' flying suit. This remarkable piece of technology is produced using a 3D printer and is powered by five engines that can run on both jet fuel and diesel. Capable of reaching speeds up to 90 kilometers per hour, the manufacturer recommends a maximum acceleration of 50 kilometers per hour for safety reasons. The flying suit, according to developers, allows users to ascend to a height of 3,650 meters. However, caution is advised when flying at such altitudes, as the fuel supply lasts only four to five minutes. With a fuel tank capacity of 15 liters, the suit weighs approximately 27 kilograms. The achievement of this relatively low weight is attributed to the use of special block components, assembled from parts produced by a 3D printer. Gravity Industries not only delves into the creation of personal flying machines, but has also taken a pioneering role in mass producing these suits. The continuous advancements in this field show the undying dream of humans to soar through the skies. California-based startup Kitty Hawk, backed by co-founder Larry Page, has revealed a personal electric flyer known as the Kitty Hawk Flyer. This is designed to carry a single person, reaching speeds of up to 32 kilometers per hour and sustaining flight for 20 minutes at a height ranging from one to three meters. The Kitty Hawk Flyer's flight will be facilitated by 10 separate engines, each operating independently. The design of this flying machine has drawn comparisons to an enlarged version of a multi-copter, specifically crafted to hover above water surfaces at heights of up to 10 meters. However, for the production model, it is anticipated that the Kitty Hawk Flyer will be more versatile and capable of flying over various surfaces and reaching greater altitudes. Interestingly, the Kitty Hawk Flyer is not intended for individual consumers. Instead, the company plans to exclusively sell it to large transportation companies, aiming to address traffic. This strategic approach aligns with the vision of integrating personal electric flyers into broader transportation solutions. Last on the list is the world's first backpack helicopter. This man drone utilizes two propellers, each approximately 90 centimeters in diameter, mounted on a rigid frame alongside batteries and two armrests equipped with controls. Crafted from durable and lightweight carbon fiber, the device operates on electric traction. The pilot achieves vertical takeoff and then adjusts the rotors to move forward or execute turns to the right and left. Developers emphasize that the large propellers contribute to energy-efficient takeoff and maneuvering, even though their size raises the risk of encounters with birds. Due to its compact size and power unit, the helicopter has a limited airborne duration. In the event of engine failure, an inevitable descent occurs. Consequently, the recommended flight altitude is restricted to 15 meters because of the helicopter's design limitations. Which one of these flying vehicles is your cup of tea? Are you willing to try on one if you've got the chance? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and tap the notification button to stay updated.